Hey, what's up guys? Jason here. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. I am out at the beautiful Interlake State Recreation Area today, just getting a couple pictures and enjoying the outdoors. Now, yesterday, all day, I was in the shop putting a snorkel on Argo. So we will go ahead and show that video here in a minute. But first of all, I wanted to go ahead and say thanks everybody for subscribing and liking. This channel just turned two years old. Um, so I appreciate all your support. Now that it's fall and uh, summer's kind of cooled down and it's not so crazy, um, we're gonna get back to some stuff. Um, got several builds going on here. I took five different four wheeling trips this summer. So I'm gonna be putting those videos out to you. Um, in those videos, you will recall my buddy James and his white JL Unlimited Rubicon. Well, James just recently moved to Arizona and he has started a channel of his own. Um, so we're going to be doing some collab stuff in the future, but make sure you stop by and check out his channel. It's I Am Honey Badger. Um, he's got some really good stuff going on. Um, so hopefully he'll be scouting trails out there for us to go take in the future. So make sure you look out for that. Um, as far as plans for vehicle builds go, yes. <laughs> Now we've got some more parts to throw on Argo here. We have also got some brakes that we've got to repair that happens over the four wheeling season. Um, now, none of them are major. Uh, a couple of them are small cosmetic stuff. So we will get into that um, coming up in future videos. Uh, the XJ, we will be concentrating on very hard real soon. I'm actually gonna go ahead and change some things up with that, get that build going. Um, that's the next one to be finished. Uh, the YJ, uh, doing a little bit more inspection on it, getting ready for other stuff, you know, trying to save up for parts. Um, the YJ body is in terrible condition. So we have made a change to what's going to be happening with the YJ. I think you guys are gonna like it. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be on board for it. So hopefully we'll be launching that very, very soon. I know I'm kind of keeping kind of tight lipped about it, um, but that's because it seems like every time I try to do something on this channel, another channel does it. So I'm trying to bring you guys authentic original stuff, but uh, I guess I'm just not fast enough to do it. So hopefully we'll get some more stuff done for you. Um, but so far, thanks so much for stopping by guys. We're gonna go ahead and get to the snorkel video now and uh, we'll catch you guys a little bit later. Now to install this snorkel, the first thing I gotta do is take off these Smitty Built pillar mounts. Hey, matter of fact, if you guys want them, drop me a line, follow me on Instagram, and just say, hey, Smitty Built pillar mounts, and I'll get them off to one of you guys. But we gotta go ahead and take these down. We're gonna disconnect them for now and probably move them to the front bumper later. After that, we got access to go ahead and do our snorkel. So stick around. So I did my best to install this really well, so that means there's a lot of zip ties that gotta be cut off. So I did install this to the MLC-6, so we're gonna go ahead and pull the wires out. The only remaining wires here are going to be for our DC-DC charger and back, and that's just a trigger signal to allow the solenoid to turn on. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these two wires and get these lights off.
So guys, this is a great case for when you're installing these to not do butt connectors and do the bullet style connectors that these things come with. Um, it definitely makes taking them apart or if you got to pull them much easier. So now I can pull the wiring harness that I built for these. And this wiring harness I can actually use up on the front. Um, it's plenty long enough to reach to the front, so we'll be able to reuse this piece. It's awesome. Go ahead and pull this harness and set it off to the side. So guys, here's the box that Snorkel comes in. It's a little bit big and awkward because it's one piece, um, but that's to your advantage. No seams in there means that it's not really gonna have any place to leak water or anything like that. Now, I've already opened this up and checked it out and made sure everything was there. Kind of learned my lesson with that. Um, but I think this thing's going to be pretty awesome. So here we got the instructions. Um, the first spot in all these instructions is of course, reading the contents, making sure you got all those and making sure you got all the tools needed. Now the one tool that will probably pop in that some people don't have is gonna be this one and three quarter inch hole saw. Luckily I have one of those. So shouldn't be too bad of an install. Now I have read in a lot of the reviews on this that you got to be really careful with where you put this thing at because the measurements aren't exactly right. Um, you got to kind of hold it up there and make sure you got it right. So we're going to make sure we take our time with this and cut the hole in the right spot and make sure everything works out. So guys, what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to take these directions and go a little bit backwards with them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the air box out and I'm going to mount the snorkel and then what I'm going to do is close the hood over it and kind of take my marks from there. Um, so many people in the reviews of this thing have said that the, the, the measurements just don't line up. So be really careful, do it twice, you know, before you make any cuts. So I'm going to go ahead for peace of mind here and uh, mount the snorkel and see where it actually comes through the hood so I can make sure I get a perfect cut on it. So here we are at the point of no return. Now I've got the uh, template on there and I've got it marked in a couple places. I'm not gonna use an inch and three quarter hole saw. There's actually very few things that I'm doing as far as the instructions go for this. Now one thing I have done is I have marked the uh, template out. I've made sure that center is really close on these. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill a couple, uh, couple holes in the hood. This is a uh, 7 16 drill bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple holes up here in the corner and then we're just going to cut them out and connect them. Um, this right here gives you a little room to kind of slide around and make it right. But I think uh, we're going to be dead on with this measurement. Go ahead and put some holes in the hood.
first two holes done now I have hit inner structure there so I'm gonna have to go ahead and go through that a little bit more all right so now I'm through inner and outer structure I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up and cut around the template here So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to use a scroll saw for this. Um, I got it set to metal. I have a metal blade in here. Okay guys, so as you see here, the cut looks pretty good. We got plenty of room for clearance. Um, everything looks like it's gonna clear. I probably gotta trim the inside out just a little bit more because it looks like it's contacting and keeping the hood from coming down all the way. But the cut itself uh, looks really good. It's close on both sides, less than a quarter inch. So definitely, uh, if you're gonna do this, make sure that you put the snorkel on and measure everything out. If I would've went by the measurements given in the kit, the 23 millimeters, it would have been way off. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the inside structure a little bit more, get the hood closed down a little bit more, and then we'll pull this back and go ahead and put our bracket on. All right, so we've got everything fitting good now. The hood latches, the inner structure gives enough room. Just had to grind it down a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and peel this back and we're gonna put our protective ring over that and rivet that on. Um, and then we're gonna take everything back apart and go ahead and put the, uh, put the air box together. So guys, one thing to note here, after you put the, uh, I guess the beauty panel on here, 
it tells you to drill all these holes out at 1 8 inch. Well, these are 3 16 rivets. So I'm not sure if somebody just isn't good at math, doesn't know what they're talking about, reach something out of a bin, but if you get one of these, it's probably gonna be 3 16 rivets. So make sure you pay attention to that. I went through and uh, it's actually frustrating. I drilled all the holes, then I had to go back through and drill them all again. So not a big deal. Um, it's just the name of the game, but 3 16 rivets, guys. This right here is just a really cheap little rivet gun, um, just a hand riveter. If you don't have one of these, it's a great buy, um, especially for a 4x4 vehicle. There's a lot of stuff that you'll probably end up riveting on throughout the years, so uh, I highly recommend it. Three sixteenths rivet. So guys, really the last part in all this is gonna be to seal the box. Um, now this just slips through there, um, but you can seal all the way around. If you want to, you can also seal right here on the bottom where these uh, bushings are that slide down into the bolts. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put some additional silicone in there. I will leave the drip hole on the bottom um, loose because you're gonna have to be submerged for a while for that small hole to have any water up there. But these three right here where the uh, actual bushings are, we'll go ahead and seal those up and we will seal around this on the inside with silicone. All right guys, so that is install complete. The snorkel looks fantastic. I really like it. Um, the hardest part about it was honestly modifying the uh, antenna bracket, sliding that forward so uh, the snorkel would mount flush to the body. As far as the snorkel itself goes, make sure you measure a few times before you cut this hole in the hood. You wanna make sure that is right. Uh, mine turned out fine. The size of the rivets was wrong. They were actually 3 16 rivets. They were not 8th inch rivets. So watch out for that too because you might have to go back through and drill the holes a second time. Pilot bit made it really easy. I mean, drilling the 3 16 after the 8s, not a problem. Um, once again, when you're putting this together, make sure you give time for the silicone inside the box to dry. You are gonna have to move this and muscle it around a little bit to get it to snap back down into place inside the three bushings inside there. Um, so just take your time with it. It's a little bit frustrating, but you can do it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the snorkel video. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, it's been a good day out on the trails, just kind of relaxing, having a good time. A um, few little tips and tricks in there for putting one of these snorkels on. Um, if you do decide to do it, just take your time and it'll turn out great. Uh, thanks for watching again, guys. Make sure you stay tuned. We got more good stuff coming up uh, very soon. Uh, we'll see you next week.